Good evening, Devin. Gentlemen, you both know the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Touch close now, come on fighting at the bell. Goliath in the red and black trunks. Are familiar with the Lundy back in his career. Immediately snap back with a jab. So he's effective, but, but already great speed. Straight up the middle. 130 amateur wins. Zone route. Create Devin Haney promotions. Takes his time. It's a long hard He's blocking those jabs at least. Not that one though. Well, Sergio, he also doesn't stick around, right? He do in the opening three minutes. Ah! Beat Zawur Abdullayev of Russia. Quick fighter. Hard right hand after the hook. A harder jab than Floyd. Floyd wasn't trying to polax you with a jab. It seems like Haney is. Well, Floyd would always deal with what was presented. That was, that was a sneaky, nice right hand from Haney caught down the middle. Just like he did right there. Two. After Lyam. Limited success so far. 15 of his 16 landed punches in round one. It's effective. It's sharp. It's a, and the noise he makes even. It's like when you're hitting the bag. Pah! You know? To see him open up and throw his hands. Briefly hits Haney back out of the ropes. And now two hard right hands from Haney. Haney nice and crisp with those punches. Trying the uppercut as well. After Lyam looking to mix it up. And he switched that jab into a hook, just beautiful and fast. And again, and now with a right hand downstairs. Versatile attack from Devin Haney. Wow, snapping off a jab. Scoring shots again and again. Now a right hand behind it, missed with the hook. The combination by Haney. He answered in turn through a right hand, 29 to 8. Get in close to do something and get effective against Haney. Went to the hook to the body and landed. Now the shoulder roll and fires out right hand. What you do have to think though is that you have a lot of good fighters. You've got the best prospect in boxing and Ryan Garcia out there as well. These guys have the potential. Go after Luke Campbell. And Campbell put it himself nicely, box 12. And so it can happen. It did just. Haney has just looked fantastic. Here through three, and there's a hard right hand to the body. So it's not forgetting about the body. Quick exchange there, and then followed up by the Jeff. You know they're out there and say, come on, man, well, who's he fighting? Well, Haney has clearly been the far superior fighter. Good head movement there by Haney as well. Probably up to live every time he's fired back in the past, he's been able to catch something. Outpointing Hammer and Hank Bundy, who was prime, once a very tough fighter. It's still a very tough. And now blood is coming from the nose of Abdullah. He he's Sergio. No, double jab, right hook, right uppercut like that. It's very dangerous, but he sees that punch. Well, too slow because the other guy's just lightning fast. Oh, again, strafing left hook by Haney. That you just barely see. Great offense. Well, we've seen all different types of fighters. Guy looks like the total package. Double hook by Haney. Who would you compare that jab to? It's a hard jab and a hard right hand lands. That's what he means, you know, he wants to be a little bit of Roy Jones. Roy didn't jab. <laughs> no, he didn't. Roy didn't jab like this. Ah, but a fighter we're going to see in October, Gennady Golovkin, he sure does. Yep. The big room. Soon Devin Haney will be fighting in the big room. It's over. That's it. Zaur Abdullayev. And it seems his nose could be broken. Doctors are looking at him right now. He is taking a beating, and Devin Haney was just that fantastic. I don't know if it's going to be the nose or a, maybe a fracture on the right side of his face, because that was a big shot to the orbital bone of Abdullayev. The winner. By TKO victory, still undefeated, and now the interim WBC lightweight world champion, Devin the Dream Haney!